Launching and landing planes on an aircraft carrier is amazing, powerful, and very difficult. All the crew members have to work together, coordinated in a huge ballet. Let's look at what they're doing. First, notice that everyone has different colored shirts on. That's because everyone's shirt is color-coded to the specific job they have to do. Yellow is for aircraft directors who direct most of the action and focus on moving the planes. Purple is for people handling fuel. Just like cars need gas, so do airplanes, and the purple shirts handle that. Green is for ground support, maintenance, and they help with the landing gear and the catapult. Red is for people dealing with weapons like bombs and missiles, but they also help in case of emergencies and crashes. Blue shirts are plane handlers but also drive around any other equipment like tractors or forklifts. On a carrier, the runway is pretty short, so there's not much room to take off. Planes need to get up to speed as soon as possible, so they use a catapult. When an airplane gets into position, the front landing gear is hooked onto a catapult. When it's ready to launch, the catapult fires and launches the airplane up to 165 miles per hour in just two seconds. Notice before each plane takes off, there's a big flap that comes up behind it. That's called a jet blast deflector. The jet engines on the planes are really powerful and blast a huge force of hot air behind them. The deflector blocks that blast to protect people and other planes and equipment. These launches were just off the coast of North Carolina. They're part of what's called air qualifications to practice taking off and landing. Each plane will launch, fly a giant loop of many miles, and then land. That's what those planes coming in off the left are doing. They're landing before launching again. You can see them catching a wire when they land. Landing a giant fighter plane on a boat, even a boat as big as an aircraft carrier, is really hard. Pilots can't slow down too much when they approach the landing strip, so in case they miss, they can keep up enough speed to stay in the air and come back and try again. When they land on the deck, their planes have what's called an arresting hook, a big hook on the back of their airplane that grabs one of the several wires on the ground to grab the plane and help it slow down in time. Now watch the bottom right of the deck. Whoa, it just disappeared! Don't worry, it's supposed to do that. It's actually a giant elevator, one of several elevators that can bring airplanes and equipment from inside the ship up to the flight deck. Carriers are an amazing mix of people and technology. They carry 72 airplanes, sometimes more, and have a crew of about 5,000 people to make it all happen. It takes everyone doing lots of different jobs. It's not just pilots and ground crews. It also takes electricians, cooks, dentists, mechanics, welders, garbage removal, teachers, lawyers, plumbers, mail workers, and more. There's even a Starbucks on board. Everyone working together for this very complex mission is how United States Navy aircraft carriers get the job done. <laughs>